Welcome back to All Things Outdoors for round two of the DIY quilt. Only this time we're going to talk about waterproofing or, or treating the down. So the down I bought, it, it came in untreated. It was a cheaper down, so obviously there's no water protection on it whatsoever. So in this part two, what we're going to do, we're actually going to treat the down, and then we're going to run a little experiment to see if it works. I have the NYX Wax down treatment. Now this is for any garments with any type of down to help with the waterproofing of that garment. Uh, and you usually use an entire bottle per garment or per piece of gear that, that is down filled. You put this with your piece of down gear in the washing machine and you run it through a cycle uh, and that actually treats the down uh, to make it more waterproof, water resistant. Now the one question I have is, does it work? Uh, it's not a horribly expensive process. You're just curious, does it work? So what we're going to do, we're going to go through and run a cycle. We're going to wash this quilt and treat it with the NYX wax downproof. But I also made a little pouch of down I'm going to wash with it because I want to see exactly how good does this stuff do at treating your down. Let's get this thing in the washer. We're going to run it through a cycle of this downproof and see what happens. Now one key note, I ran an empty cycle through the washing machine to make sure that any residue of fabric, softener, or or uh, detergent is washed out of it and wiped out the inside of the dispenser. So it should be really clean when you go to actually treat your down using the Nick Wax. Washing waterproofing for down filled gear. And it actually is in Spanish too. Mm, per me. Almost forgot the black pouch. Get in there. All right. Looks like it held together. Stuff it in here. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna take some tennis balls, throw in there, and I'm not gonna use heat. I'm gonna use just regular air, uh, just cool air, and just run several cycles and let it dry itself out. So, I'm gonna hope knees up. Ooh. I give up. I'm gonna let that tumble around with those tennis balls and it'll break up the down so it won't be as clumpy. Then we'll see if it worked. So we actually took the quilt and the pouch through the Nick Wax cycle. So now the question is, does it actually work? So I have some untreated down in this glass. I'm gonna open up this pouch, put the down into this glass, and we're gonna see how well it repels or if it repels water. All right, let's check it out. We have treated to the right, untreated to the left. First off, let's take the water to the untreated. Okay, now to the treated. In this one, you can tell it does naturally kind of repel the water, but you can tell it's starting to fold in on itself. Where in this glass, it, it definitely is repelling it a little more, it looks like, because it's actually raising the down. It's actually pushing the down out of the glass. It's still lofty, but it does look like down kind of has a little bit of a natural ability to deflect water anyways, which that makes sense since it comes from waterfowl. When I totally submerge the untreated, still can have a little bit of loft. Whereas, so does the treated, but the amount of down in the water 
still seems like it stays a little thicker and a little fluffier. I'm making a mess. What do you guys think? I think the longer that it sits in the water, the treated is starting to show that it is a little more resilient. There's feathers everywhere. Don't what are you know. doing? What? What are you, your mom's gonna kill us. Probably. <laughs> it's not like Play-Doh. Sure it is. <laughs> What is that? It looks like you strangled a goose. Not in the mixing cup. No, no. Okay, so what did we learn? Was the Nick wax really worth it? The longer I let the down sit in the water, the natural and untreated down had a tendency to kind of collapse and really started to show signs of failure. Whereas with the treated down, it actually did hold up. You could tell that wax coating really do makes a difference in allowing the endurance of the down to hold up even when it gets wet. So is it worth it? I personally think so. Anything that'll give you an edge, especially at the cost of no additional weight, you tell me, let me know in the comments. Is it worth it? Is it not? Till next time.